Okay, in this video we're going to look at an example related to the limit laws. So, just a couple problems here, and suppose that we're given that the limit as x approaches 2 of our function f of x, that equals 4, and the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x, that equals negative 5. We want to compute each of these following limits. So, part A, we've got the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 times f of x minus 2 times g of x over f of x. Part B, again, we'll do the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x times g of x plus g of x. So, let's do part A here first. Um, for the limit laws, uh, maybe we'll go through this one in bits and pieces. If you have a limit of a fraction, it basically says you can take the limit of the numerator over the limit as x approaches 2 of the, de the denominator. Okay, well, there's also some more rules that say, okay, if you have addition and subtraction, it says you can look at the limit individually. So we'll have the limit as x approaches 2 of 3 times f of x uh, minus the limit as x approaches 2 of 2 times g of x. Again, in the denominator, I'm going to write it a little closer. We've got the limit as x approaches 2 of our function f of x. Um, another one of the limit laws simply says if you have constants being multiplied by your function, you can factor those out. So we have 3 times the limit as x approaches 2 of the function f of x, minus, I'm going to pull the 2 out front, 2 times the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x. Well again, all of that is over the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. And now we're in a position to start plugging in uh, the given values. So the moral of the story is you can basically just plug things in. Um, a lot of people, nobody, I mean, very few people write all this stuff out when doing limits. Um, so let's see. We said the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. That was given to us as 4. So I'm just going to plug that in. So we'll have 3 times 4 minus 2 times. Well, when we do the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x, we said the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x is just negative 5, so let me plug that in there as well. And again, we just said the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, that's giving us the value 4. And now we're in business, we can just do our arithmetic. Um, so 3 times 4 is 12, negative 2 and negative 5 is positive 10, all over 4. Let's see, that's 22 over 4, which we could reduce, we could make that 11 over 2 or I guess that's what, five and a half. So that would be our limit, uh, the, the answer to the limit uh, question in part A.